Uh, hey everybody, welcome to the Checked Out Podcast. Oh. <laughs> We're starting with <laughs> that's <laughs> going to be the intro. <laughs> Stretch. Nice. I, had, I think I would make that okay. Um, yeah, this is the 0.5 episode Checked Out Podcast. We actually recorded one the other day, but then it fucked up. So now we're back with the trio doing the TriCast for the 0.5 episode. Don't know which one this is. Yeah. And then we're just going to be yep. vibing. Uh, Again. Yes. Of course. Yep. <laughs> yep. And then now. Nope. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Um, if you enjoyed. Um... Yes, it's finally <laughs> over. Thank God. I didn't want to do oh, this one. That was, that was a quick podcast. That was dude. a great one. Oh, man. All right, so we done? Yeah. Can I, yeah, we should can I leave? be honestly. Uh, all right, well. Okay. Back to gaming. Yeah. See you guys later. Yep. See you. I'm not doing this bit. I'm not. What? Dude. Why aren't you doing the? Bit? Left me hanging. <laughs> that, I'm all blurry. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we're good. Uh, well, you know, Lars, you said you had something. Finally, for once, yes. you brought something. Oh my yes. god, a first from we were Okay, so in the last episode when we were talking and we were talking about podcast topics, you know, I, I, I don't really, I can't think of anything that, like, forcefully, you know, but when we're naturally talking, it reminded me of this thing that has happened to me recently, kind of, where, like, when you turn, when you become an adult, you know, you know how you, like, oh. start tasting things differently? I was wondering if you guys have experienced that and like what has changed for you, you know? Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Um oh, yeah. the eloquent way of putting it. Thank you, thank you. You know, right, right. onions. Right. I say I used to not like onions at all. I still don't like them that much, but yeah. like I think I, I can tolerate them more. Like I, I used to I still don't like onion rings or anything. Mm-hmm. But like if it's if it's like an addition, it's an addition to like a burger or something. Yeah. You know, I think it's fine, but you know, I yeah. used to ha- absolutely hate. Oh, you know what else I used to actually hate? I used to hate the peanut M and M's. Ooh. I used to not like those, but now, Damn. of course, I do. Yeah, I think that's like an adult thing, like peanut M and M's. I feel like adults like peanut M and M's and like regular, regular kiddos. Normal M and M's are too, just too much. It's yeah. Just too much now. Your taste buds changed over time. I yeah. swear. Huh. Anything about you? anything for you, Ron? So, I used to have a quirky trait where I used to be like the only Asian who didn't like rice. Yeah. So, back in like middle school, whenever I went to Thailand for my trips, I I didn't want anything with rice on it. Mm. So I always forced my mom to go to McDonald's because I just didn't want to eat fucking rice. <laughs> but well, while you were in Thailand, <laughs> yeah, I was in Thailand. You know, all this good ass food, right? And then I'm just like, oh, McDonald's. And like, look, McDonald's is better in Thailand, but like still. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah, better. It's not... It is yeah, better. It is better. Why do they just use better shit in it? Or is it like the qual- the items are just better? It's like it's just... all of the above pretty much. Like yeah. the food service is better. The The food itself is better. There's more options that are like interesting and stuff, you know? Yeah, like, dude, there's, like, desserts and shit, you know, there's, like, fucking, I know there was, like, rice bun burgers or something like that, mm. and then I oh, went to, you like, you wouldn't this... like those, though, <laughs> no rice. <laughs> okay, look, rice sucked ass <laughs> back in the day, you know, but. Back in the day, no, back it's in been the, the same, look, <laughs> it's been the same, bro. I mean, yeah, nothing's <laughs> happened to look, rice. I throw it a little bit, rice. I kind of like the rice now, you know, rice is okay. You've changed. <laughs> Wait, so do oh, you, you, you do you eat rice now? I'm like slowly getting to like rice. Now I have like curry sometimes. But like Ooh. you know it's fucking like I've grown freak, to dude. it. <laughs> what? Seriously. Wait, what is wrong with you? I don't I don't like rice when you put goddamn tuna in a pancake. And <laughs> Okay. Well, well, somehow he's kinda of spitting right now. And and somehow somehow worse. in your mind, somehow you even thought how'd you even think of that? No one if, if if anyone's ever thought of tuna and pancakes, because they they've never gone, hmm, you know that might actually be a banger idea. I don't know. And then all, uh, but when you're a kid, oh no, rice, 
No, rice is gross. Uh, fucking weirdo. Well, how's rice trauma? <laughs> Look, it's just how it is, man. But now I'm I'm starting to like it. Something mm. I've never liked though is ice cream. That shit. Mm. Uh, no, it's not it. it. You don't like ice cream either? Yeah, no, ice cream sucks. It's because, like, the texture of ice cream sucks. No, 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 I'm talking about large. Like, oh, no, I, I, I got ice cream today. I love it. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I was like, am I a lone ranger here? Am I, the I thought I had a supporter for a second. Okay, Lars, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream, though? Uh, Probably mint chocolate chip, but I have a few. Like, I like mint chocolate chip, cotton candy. There's, Ooh. like, this Tillamook. It's, like, just chocolate chip ice cream it's just vanilla with chocolate chips but it it hits so hard it's so good and then there's like a uh fred meyer it has like a uh it's like a maraschino cherry ice cream with like mm. some chocolate chips that's also very good dude they got dude i i don't care where it's from but mm-hmm. bubblegum ice cream is always so damn good yeah it's, it's always fucking fire fire Really sweet ice cream just is so good. Like ice cream's already sweet, but the ones that just taste like sugar. On sugar, you make yourself look like a goddamn clown. It's not like, good. I just like. They're gonna bring, we have to bring a more of the shit you've eaten. We have to bring a more. Look, okay. You're in the minority I... here, senor. <laughs> okay, you guys can keep talking about ice cream. I'll just be uh, here. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, Ron. What if they made tuna ice cream? Would you eat it? I feel like that's a thing. Would you try it? Oh, come on. No way. That's a thing. That's only a thing for people like you. I would try it because it still has the ice cream texture. It's still, dude. But it tastes just (laughs) like tuna. Wait, it's the texture that gets it for you? Yeah, I don't like the texture of ice cream. That's why I don't like it. What about like milkshakes? No. I don't like milkshakes. Wait, what about the texture? I just don't like it. I don't know. It's too... Yeah. Is this is this is this is this? I think it's. Is, is I've this started to run. into the pegging thing. What? <laughs> no. Is it, because, is it because it reminds you of of male ejaculate? Is that why? <laughs> no. I can't believe you use that to transition into pegging. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking know I did. You fucking know I did. Ryan was waiting. <laughs> he was waiting for this opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, I won't bring it up. I'm just gonna let. I'm just gonna let the audience wonder what I'm talking about. I just think Ron and Peggy. I feel like it's oh. worse. Oh, no. Now, yeah, it is worse, but... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now it's up to Ron to bring it up so he can yeah. clear the air. <laughs> Let me... Okay, fine. I'll bring it up since some people might be curious. Okay, so... I was posed the question of why I wouldn't want to be pegged. You know? And I feel like everybody's got their reasons. And in mine... Was just like I, well, dude. What if you like like it? You know, it's not like okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe, dude, that was actually here. the worst. That was the worst way to bring. Okay. Let me let me let me explain this, Ron. Okay, one day we were I know we were all on a call, and I asked Ron whether he if he would get pegged. He said no. I feel like that's a normal. A lot of guys wouldn't. Okay, but then Ron's reasoning for not wanting to is he said, "What if?" I actually like it. <laughs> That's it's, his reason. Okay. Not because he's like, I don't think I would like it. What if I did? No, I just don't so want to. So the question to. I pose now is, is that homophobic? <laughs> the Checked Out Nation? No. I have a question for you. <laughs> the Checked Out Nation. Is that oh. homophobic? Because what <laughs> yeah. other reason would you would you no, not want not. to know whether you liked it? Whether, other don't. than if you thought it was gay. No, I just don't want to like it. Because like, I don't. Dude, what's wrong with of, liking it, Ron? Yeah, what I is wrong with liking? I don't like <laughs> the idea wrong. of stuff in my ass, man. And like, oh, <laughs> but you like the feeling of it, or you no, would in this like, scenario. I don't know if I do because I've never done anything with that. But like, it's just like, you know. But you're afraid of liking the feeling of something up your ass. Yeah. Like well, in general, I just don't like thinking about stuff in my ass. You know, and what if I liked it? That just sucks because, like, now I have to have stuff in my ass the whole time. No, no, you don't. What are you talking about? Oh my god, it's uh, what is this? It's not, it's nothing's wrong with liking it, Ron. Yeah, come on, Ron. It's 2022, man. All right, if we get a hundred likes on this episode, (laughs) a hundred likes on this episode, we'll open up the checked out OnlyFans and Ron will test it out for himself. So, who's doing the feed picks and the OnlyFans is the question. 
I can yeah, do I, it. I had to check my window was open. No, David could do it. David <laughs> oh, loves it. David would uh oh, yes. enjoy that too much. Oh no, David would have the experience. He would know he'd know like how to take the good photos. Yeah. He'd know the angles. <laughs> do you think there are angles if he picks? For sure. I mean there's yeah. There's angles but, for any pick. God damn, just like the lighting and shit. Like what, what if you like, like what are you what are you gonna like from the back? Just the heel? Come on. There's nothing there. There's no substance there. Yeah. You've got to get uh, straight to the to the meat and potatoes. Yeah, you need the arch. Or, the, or, I, or should I say the little piggies? <laughs> piggies. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking like a picture of like just like toes and like chocolate. And then like they dip it sensually. What? And then like wouldn't that make people want to buy it more? Are you good, Ron? Ron, you sound like you're speaking from experience here. I think this is something Dude, you might have... I'm trying to think of new innovations for the feet and this... <laughs> That's... Oh, I th- <laughs> if I if I if after this podcast I go and look this up and it's a real fucking thing. Yeah. You're there's no way it's exposed. not though. Just Dude, get fucking exposed. Okay, but there's no way it's not a thing, dude. There's definitely people who have probably done it. Oh, that. so it's not an innovation then. It's just <laughs> something that's already been done. It was just so oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> what if odd. someone, you know, oh, were God. wearing these really pink socks and then they took them off and dipped it into like whipped cream and then they started like. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not, in a feet. I'm not in a feet, but I'm trying to find innovations for the feet lovers out there. That's all oh, I'm man. saying. Oh, Ron, Ron, Ron. Oh, what man. Do with you? <laughs> oh, you know, since we're on the topic of Ron, I'm going to bring up something else. Oh, uh, no. The, so, so the other day, Ron posted something on his story. Um, he, he wanted to prank his girlfriend. So what he did for the prank was he bought like a stick of celery, put it in the toilet, closed the lid, and then said, Hey, your toilet's broken. Come check it out. And, <laughs> and that was the joke. That's the joke. That was the okay. punchline. Was that okay. He put fucking celery in the toilet. Nah, nah. Ryan's actually missing the whole point of the story. Let me say it again. All so right. the vegetable wasn't celery. It was a leak. And then I asked my girlfriend, there's a leak in the toilet. Come look quickly. And then she went and then there was a leak in the toilet. It was a toilet leak. Yana, your toilet has a leak. Yeah. Here, come look. Where is it? It's inside the toilet. <laughs> what? Did you really break that in there? Did you really buy a fucking leak for that? <laughs> you did not buy a fucking leak to put in my toilet. Get it? That somehow makes it even worse. That I feel like somehow makes it even worse. Better, it. No, dude, it was a toilet leak. It was. It made no, sense. It was a. Dude, it was okay, a but did she post. even understand that at the time, or did she just see there's a vegetable in my fucking no, toilet? I went, went like... to the store and spent money on this, and just to put it in my damn toilet, so we can't use it anymore. <laughs> no, she said, "Why is there a leak in my toilet?" Why did you fire a fucking leak? Is what she said. <laughs> well, I mean, what an amazing prank from Ron. Look, it was I mean, a great prank. If it was me, like... if I wait his girlfriend, I'd just been like, oh, Ron, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> you gotta improve. You gotta improve. <laughs> this is this... really. <laughs> it was really? a great prank. It was a great one. You needed an intervention right there. Like <laughs> so much effort for a pun. <laughs> like, dude, it she was like, a great. Sits you pun. down on the toilet and starts talking to you about it. <laughs> Ron, yeah, she, some help. She, she she puts down the lid, takes a seat, sits him down. <laughs> have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Ron? Look, I thought it was a great prank. <laughs> It was very elaborate, very well crafted, and I thought about it when I was shopping at Fred Meyers. You act like this is some <laughs> jackass prank that you'd see in like a jackass movie. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of planning uh, for this prank was immaculate. I it, was, it, was, it was too much effort. Executed. Yeah. I just thought it would be funny to do. 
So I yeah. thought about it the same day, oh. and I was like, the epic prank. Uh, it was fun. Classic. And then I put it in her oven, and then we were, we were like, uh, making a cake. She forgot it was in the oven. So <laughs> Wait, why'd you put it in the oven? I don't Wait. know. I, was, I wanted to put it somewhere else that she wouldn't think... Uh, hey, it see, you be... took it out of the fucking toilet and put it in the goddamn <laughs> oven? Wait, yeah. we actually need an intervention with Ron because we need to talk about his hiding, like, produce habit. He just puts, like, a pineapple in the bathroom when we're hanging out. He takes yeah, out it's just, it's Nathan's not, lemons in uh, his fridge. New thing. He puts it in the shoes. Puts the leak in the oven after it was in the toilet. <laughs> Dude, okay, maybe Ron doesn't have a foot fetish or a pegging fetish, but he might have a vegetable fetish, like... <laughs> Look, I just think when I'm, like, on something, the idea of putting, like, fruits and vegetables in random places is pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's just funny to hide shit because, like, the people are like, why the fuck is there a lemon in my underwear? Or, like, some shit like that, you know? <laughs> it's not like a clever joke. And it's just like, why the fuck did you put a pineapple in my bathtub? That's, that's pretty much the joke. It's like... <laughs> it's just the, the weirdness of it being there. What are they I, know, I think it's funny. Oh, I get it. You put a pineapple in the sink. It's so funny. Oh, my God. No, it's just supposed to be, like, one of those what the fuck type of things. But someone has to make the what the fuck type of thing, you know? So I just put shit in random places. <laughs> well, uh, I only do that when I'm drunk or high, though. Because... That's like a habit you do, I feel like. You just, you're like, what is it's the funny. weirdest, most funny, weird thing I can do right now? And then you, you do it. <laughs> that is true. I do do that. <laughs> like, I, I remember you telling me this story about how you used to go up to people and you just, like, went up to someone and you're like, why isn't the sky yellow? Or something. You said something like that. Like, like you just, you just try to come up with the weirdest things. I feel like it's so funny. Dude, that became a riveting conversation. Though. <laughs> yeah. You know why is the sky yellow? They were like, it's not yellow. It's not <laughs> yellow. And then you get more conversation because it's not actually yellow. You see, <laughs> is this you know? Is this how you met your girlfriend? Is this what you did? Like, no. Yo, why is the grass green? Why isn't it like? Purple. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> like, why is it always purple? Like, like fuck, what do you sometimes mean, when like, you say purple. random shit, you either get two reactions. One, there's like, who the fuck is this guy? And then two, someone who goes along with it. You know? That's true. So. That, I guess that is a good way to meet people. It's natural selection, you know? It's just like, or, what, what, what how, I don't know. I don't it's, know. A, it's like a filter. It filters the people out, you know? Yeah. It's rid of the lame, serious, the, Squares. what do you mean? It's green. <laughs> okay, why is, he, why is he meeting fucking Bruce Wayne? <laughs> I don't know, but that's how I imagine. Is it yellow? That's how I imagine people who take it seriously, you know? Like, obviously, it's not yellow. But yeah. they'll be like, it's not yellow. Yeah. Anyways. We're going to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Ask him that. The... Oh, never mind. Is there like a, there's a green guy in the garbage can. Who's that? Oscar the Grouch. Oh my God, dude. I saw like a video of him getting run over and I got really sad. Bro, it's a puppet, man. (laughs) (laughs) He's kind of got a point. (laughs) It is just Uh, a puppet. (laughs) <laughs> fuck that's what that's i don't know man it's just like he's grouch wait well, no it's not Os- it's oscar right fuck you didn't even know who it was Come on. <laughs> ron, ron saw the video was like no the dude who's in the garbage can he had like no personal attachment to it. yeah but he's the guy who sits in the garbage can you know? That's you know, okay. the guy who sits in the garbage no. he's green that's all you know speaking of garbage cans my uh, my garbage cans were on fire like two days ago. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, dude. Okay, that even so happen. here's the whole story. I'm gaming, right? I'm in like competitive Valorant, you mm-hmm. know. And then Adrian knocks on my door. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Adrian never knocks on my door. 
I open it up. Ron, there's a fire. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> so Bro. I'm just like, okay, what do I need to do? And he's like, fill this up in your sink, you know? I go outside, just a fucking massive fire. And like, there's these kids who are just jumping over the fence trying to put it out. And mm. apparently, the dumpster fire. Adrian knocked like before that, but I didn't hear. And he used like two fire extinguishers to try to put it out. And like, if he didn't do that, it would have gone way worse than it did. But <laughs> he did oh. that. And then, uh, because he came right away because he was like going to give people CPR and stuff like that if they needed it. Mm. But he like put it out. People called the fire department, you know? And then <laughs> there was this dumbass guy who was trying to stomp on the fire. It's fucking really high up already. He's like, it's fucked. You know, and he's trying to stomp it out. And then <laughs> when the cops came, he like fucking sprinted away. And then he apparently told Adrian, he was like, I can't get caught. I can't let my family uh, be responsible for this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he had like a massive fucking burn. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Was he the one who started it? <laughs> yeah, maybe, well, he, yeah, maybe he actually started the fucking Here's my fire. theory. Is that, well, apparently there's a, been a thing lately that the police have been seeing, like, multiple arsonists, like, in the area. Oh. There's been, like, a lot of fires in just, like, random places, like, two days ago. Mm-hmm. Well, two days before the, the garbage, there was a guy who set, like, a car on fire. Mm. And, like, around the same area. So there's, like, I saw, new, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's just been like a fucking arsonist going around Bellingham. So they thought it was that. But my prediction is I think it was the guy stomping the shit. Mm -hmm. Because like, why would you try to put it out that much if it wasn't your fault? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But like, why? It makes no sense. It's like, why is he looking over the fence in the first place? You know? Because like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because it's covered in like trees and shit. So I think they fucking started the fire. But then the guy fucking just sprinted away. <laughs> and then... Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, Adrian was like... He would have been only pissed if he, like, fucked with his, like, fu- like his car and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, because now the trash can's still fucking there. It's been, like, three days. No one's moved shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then people have just been piling their fucking trash bags on top of the... <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, come no on. Dude, no one gives a shit. Come on. <laughs> Poor workers. Oh, fucking but hell. It got as bad as it did because they set the the garbage can on fire that was like cardboard only. Mm. So it got fucking massive. But yeah, no one gives a shit. They're just putting trash on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel bad for the fucking workers that have to deal with that. Eventually, (laughs) but the funniest part is like they swapped these out from metal trash cans like two weeks ago, so they pretty much played themselves. (laughs) But yeah, that's that. I got something I wanted to ask you guys. guys, Oh, okay. Have you guys ever seen those shorts from like Andrew Tate? No, I don't think so. Andrew Tate, who the fuck's Andrew Tate? Oh, never mind. Yeah, wait. Yeah, so, like, describe it. Um, there's like okay, he's just like a bald guy, a Romanian bald guy, with like black glasses. Oh, is he like that super Maybe. alpha male guy? Yeah, yeah. I think like, I did oh, then. I yeah, fucking yeah. Hate that guy. Dude, yeah, me too. Here's the crazy story I learned about that guy. Right, something I learned is that the reason you see so many clips of this guy. Yeah. It's because he has this like program called the Hustlers University or something like that. Yeah. And pretty much <laughs> stupid fucking part... name. Dude, it's so bad cuz like the part of the program is that to like make money and you know get higher in the program you have to first of all invite other people to join the program. So it's a pyramid scheme. But there's more, there's more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to invite other people to join the program. And in the program, you have to make an Andrew Tate highlight shorts page. Dude, wait, Dude. what? Yeah. Wait, this is like a mega pyramid no, this, scheme. This is a real legit thing. So pretty much part of his thing is like you invite people to join and then they have to make, you know, a page of just Andrew Tate shorts, you know? 
and the reason I didn't figure this out is because like for a while he I kept watching his clips. Yeah. You know, I kept like watching and watching to the point where half my shorts were just Andrew Tate. Oh god, dude. You know? And then I finally stumbled upon this fucking video that was like just telling me everything I'm talking about right now. And I looked more yeah. into it and I was like, holy fuck, it's real. So, <laughs> so I, I went on yeah, a massive I like, even more now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really smart, but like, damn. It is not smart. It's illegal, bro. <laughs> yeah. But like it's straight up illegal. So yeah. much, <laughs> after that, I went on a mass like fucking like you know how you could like block pages or like just like you know do not recommend anymore. I went yeah. on a mass like do not recommend channel anymore thing on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Dude, I think I blocked like at least thirty or forty fucking pages before they finally stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> like there were yeah. so fucking many and i realized like holy shit it is a thing you know that same thing yeah. was happening to me i was I, I was getting tons of his uh, stuff on like my instagram but, yeah uh, god it's like he's so insufferable dude I, like some of the shit he says or he's talking like yeah. he, i don't know what it was but it was like it was like some he was in it, he was just talking to some chick it was probably for some show or something and she's like mm-hmm. if i had slept with 50 guys would you date me he's like i don't think so as yeah. if it's like, like, and he he's probably slept with like two hundred plus women. He's like, <laughs> eh, actually, I think you're a slut, so uh, you can't <laughs> sleep with me. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. What does that make you then? It's like a super ultra mega slut. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, what I, kind of logic is that? The other day, I saw his. It was like a clip, and he was just like, the it was like the same interview format, and he, she was like, oh well, if you were with a woman, and she wanted to go out with her guy friends. Would you let her do it? And then he's like, absolutely not. It's like, I would be providing everything that my woman needs right there for her at my house, basically, is what he was saying. And then the girl who was, like, <laughs> asking slave. the question, basically, and then the, the girl who was asking the question, she's like, uh-huh, yeah, no, totally. Like, she was totally on board. I'm like, are you stupid? Like, this guy is, like, <laughs> such a loser, dude. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, uh, yeah the guy, I fucking hate the guy. <laughs> I used to like some of his clips. Because I thought they were, like, funny. But then there was this one that was just, like, so, if a girl cheats, is that okay? And he's, like, no. But if a guy cheats, it's been, like, ten years, you know, he could cheat, like, once. And I was, like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, ten years. That's fucking logic, dude. Yeah. Oh, God. I was, like, oh, maybe I should stop watching these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's my thing. Because, like, I figured that out, and I was, like, holy fuck. I'm not so. I actually, it's a little surprising. Yeah. What that thing? What was the thing about uh? It's, it's, it's being pyramid left. scheme. Oh, that no. <laughs> That's not surprising, honestly. That's not surprising. Yeah. Honestly, well, you know, I that makes me wonder too, like, cause you know he he advertised and stuff. Like I've seen mm-hmm. clips about him. And he's like, there's one that would be like trouble troubles Bugatti owners have or something. <laughs> like, I wonder if he just fucking rents that thing and he doesn't actually have this much money. Like, <laughs> I always think about that too. Yeah, like, I've seen videos of like YouTubers like doing like. I mean, it's definitely fake. Like, so I just think it's so lame. Like, like I'm gonna rent this car just to do this this video and act like it's mine. Oh. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Look how much money I have. I don't know. Remember, yeah, so there's this one clip with him. He's like, he was talking to some guy. He's like, uh, some people say they don't like the color my Bugatti is. But then I told them, uh, what color is your Bugatti? Owned. Owned. <laughs> owned. Oh, owned. Epic <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. I, I, he's, just, he's just hard to watch. Like, anyone like that, though? That, 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 like, whole, like, that. Yeah. Alpha male thing. Where it's like, they try to, like, just control everybody in their lives and stuff. It's. Yeah, like, that's weird. You know, maybe you do have a lot of money, but you're probably like the most unhappy motherfucker out there. Yeah. You probably hate your life. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. People he's like that good... get to me. I was going to say he's a good argument for money doesn't buy happiness. Yeah. You know? It can buy some. It can buy some, but... You can buy Andrew Tate's Bugatti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buy the rental, the rental Bugatti. Yeah, you can buy a rental Bugatti for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness for a day. Absolutely sick ponage for a day. 
God, I love Andrew Tate. You know, he, the thing is, though, he came out of nowhere. Like, I swear, I have never heard of him until, like, yeah. until, like, three weeks ago when I started getting clips. Like, so Too there's, how, how the fuck, like, there's no way he, he has that much money now that I think about it. Like, there's no way. Yeah, no. It's gotta be what? fake. Just become part of the Hustlers University. And you too can make money. Jesus, that <laughs> fucking name is. It, imagine having to tell somebody that you signed up for that. Like, you wouldn't. New, you wouldn't. Cool <laughs> There's a no, reason. You have, to, you have to tell them, or else you can't get in. No, the re- the reason nobody's heard of it is because everyone who says that, like, "Oh, I'm part of the Hustlers University," they're not friends anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I would not be friends with someone. This isn't gonna like, work out anymore. <laughs> like. Sorry, I can't hang out with you. I'm part of the Hustlers University. I need I need to get my grind up. I need to oh. I, need to, I need to tell my ladies their their place. Put them in their place. Put them in their <laughs> place. Put them back to the kitchen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. Uh, that's what they yeah. That's pretty much what they think like though. So no, it is. Uh, it's disgusting. It's fucking whatever. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Ah. Uh. You know, okay, let's switch the topic now. We've been talking about him for too long. Sure. I've been playing this game recently. I have been I've been getting addicted to it, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. I'm playing House Flipper. Oh. Because it came on the Game Pass. And, yeah. you know, I thought it was going to be a mediocre game. Like, the most I've ever seen, I, I watched, like, Jerma turn a house into, like, a mm-hmm. strip mall. <laughs> you know, but yeah. when I actually started playing it, dude, that game is addicting as hell. Wait. That mm-hmm. game fucks hard. So what exactly is the game? So okay, so there's like a technically like a campaign on it where you just get these contracts from people and they'll be like, "Oh, can you like refloor my kitchen and like paint my rooms, or like replace the radiators and stuff?" Mm-hmm. Um, but then you also have like you can just buy a house and remodel it and sell it, mm-hmm. or use it as your office, and it's just it's just addicting. I don't know, it's just fun. I've seen videos you know? of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's on Game Pass right now, so I didn't have to pay for it. Well, technically I did, but... I could see myself you know. getting into it. Yeah, I, I feel mean, like... I'm, I'm getting addicted. It's like one of those games you can, like, kind of just, like, chillax with, you know? Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Just put some music be... or something, a podcast. Just play the game. Checked yeah. out podcast. Oh, <laughs> put on the yeah. Checked out podcast and play oh some house God. flipper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey. It reminds oh, me of the the game with the pressure washing. I forget what that's oh, called. Oh yeah, pressure. It's just it's literally just like power washer simulator or something. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. That game honestly seems like it'd be fun too, in the yeah. same exact way. Just yeah. yeah, I feel like those are the games you just they're just like very personal. You know, you just do do for your own amusement, your own yeah. time passing. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff though. For real, that was that was eyebrow. Pretty good. Any yeah. gamers out there? I've been playing new games. Um, I've been just kind of a Valorant guy. Mm. For a bit. I'm... <laughs> Anyways, have you guys seen oh. the Minions movie? Of course. Oh, man. Of course, I watched it the day it came out. <laughs> oh, you did? No, I did not oh. watch the Minions movie. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you okay. plan on watching it? <laughs> yeah. What? Are you going to dress up for it, too? I might. I might. I might dabble. Really, am I a despicable? My money goes. Yeah, I might dress up despicably. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the uh, fuck, man? Yeah, that friend came out of nowhere. Everybody started fucking... You know, it's like prom in the fucking Minions movie, man. Yeah. It's kind of fun, though. You know, I if I, if we got a group of people to do that, I'd go. I'd dress up to go there. I got that. I got that suit, like that suit jacket and stuff from when we did the the friendly quarrel. Oh yeah, dude, I could get real drippy, real drippy for the. Oh, for the drips out. That's a classic episode, guys. You could go watch it. On yeah, if you guys haven't seen Friendly Quarrel yet, you need to see episode. I don't know what episode. I don't fucking remember. But you need to see that episode. <laughs> Right now. Oh, no. Come back when you're done. <laughs> oh, no. We watched, no, I actually watched the rest of this first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually. got great stuff to My talk bad. about. Am I right? 
Yeah, we got yeah. awesome stuff to talk about. Like, um, <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> I actually do have something to talk about. This. Okay, okay, Ron, what do you want to talk about? What would you like to talk about? <laughs> Let yes, me pull Ron. up my list. Here's oh. a list. Holy shit. Here it is. Do you guys remember? Like, do you guys have like any uh, near death experiences? Yeah. Like, what's like uh, what's the one you remember the most? Do you want me to say it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, this was back. Back in, let's say, uh, I don't know, I forget what year, but let's estimate like 2008, okay? I was seven years old. A nice, a nice, young, healthy seven-year-old child. I went down to this uh, family, it was like a family friend's farm, and they were... They, it's like a like a small farm. They just had like horses, like a little little cottage. Anyways, we went there. We all got together, and they had horses. And they're like, "Oh yeah, you guys can you guys can play with the horses if you'd like, or you can you can pet them, play with them, you know." But one condition: do not get too close to them. Okay, you can't get too close to them if you're inside the fence, you know. Anyways. Young, young, dashing seven-year-old Lars. He's like, all right, I got you. Don't get too close to the horse. I went inside with like two other people. We went really close to the horse. And then the horse <laughs> fucking chased me. It chased me in this area. It was chasing me. And I remember it was, it was going full speed, dude. And I had to, I basically jumped into this like ditch. And I remember it so vividly, dude. That it was like, it's like well, just a small ditch that like water is usually in, but it was dried out. And there was like, you know, like when it's hard to explain, but there's like, it's like a like a desert how it traditionally has like the really cracked dirt, yeah, the really dry cracked oh, yeah. dirt. That ditch had that. And I remember, it, like, <laughs> my brain as soon as I jumped down into that ditch, I was just like, "Holy shit, I almost died!" But look how cool this dirt is. This dirt is sick, dude. <laughs> like, it was, it was a fun experience. And then I went back inside and had uh, some some lychee with the with the homies with the fam. Yeah, you know, I I, honestly, I imagine I imagine Lars like fighting a Dark Souls boss. Like he's <laughs> basically like, you know you, know, you, you, you do like a dodge roll. roll. Yeah. <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine Lars like dodge rolling around the stable to get away from this fucking horse. <laughs> That's basically what I did. <laughs> Holy shit. Actual boss battle. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. This horse is massive. It was like three times the size of me. Not yeah, when more. you're a kid, it's like ten times bigger. Yeah. Like a fucking actual Dark Souls boss. Like the galloping behind me as I'm running full speed, dude. It's terrifying. It was <laughs> actually God, Dark Souls, great. like, boss music. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's great. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't have a near death experience really. Really? So, well, I can tell you one time that was kind of funny when I got hurt. I think I still I still have a scar like on my arm here because of it. Mm -hmm. But I remember I went over to my grandma's house and she wasn't there. My uncle was there and he was like building a shelf for her, I think. Mm -hmm. And he had all the pieces laid out and stuff. Um and some of like there's like these just square pieces uh for it and they had like screws mm -hmm. sticking out of them. And um, I don't know. It's just this. What happened was pretty funny. I, we I we walked in for about it was about maybe ten seconds. I looked to my left and I go, "Oh look, we can use these as baseball uh, for baseball." And I start running at them like to you know like baseball bases, right? I'm like, "Oh, we can use them for like baseball." And then I run, and because it's it's like I, I don't know how to explain. Like, do you know you know like the IKEA desks? You know, yeah. They feel like yeah. It's basically like that. Like they're slick on the carpet so i step on it and immediately just like fucking slip out from under it and then i fall and then my arm immediately falls right onto like another screw that's sticking up oh, shit. <laughs> oh man and i mean oh. it wasn't like that bad but it was just funny how it happened it was like oh baseball <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking immediately yeah. takes a fucking plunge and, oh you know i remember remember when we were when we were bandaging it up my uncle had like called my grandma and he's like 
Uh, so the only band-aids we have here are Barbie band-aids. I don't think he wants that. What? <laughs> do you have any other band-aids you could use? He's like, just put the fucking thing on. I'm like, who the fuck cares with Barbie? <laughs> Sorry, not loud. I just bleed out. <laughs> it's good. Though. That's gonna be funny. Baseball. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck it up. That's a classic. <clears throat> What are you running, huh? All right. Mine took place freshman year of college. Mm. So I'm skating, you know, skating on my longboard. And then I'm going down this hill, you know. I'm vibing. And then I come across, like, a, what's it called? This four-way intersection. Mm. So I'm skating, you know. And then uh, once, like, I was right about to get to like uh the stoplight and then i fucking like hit a massive bump in the sidewalk Mm -hmm. and i'm like oh shit next thing you know like because i fucking fell over and then i fell like backwards so i pushed my board out Mm -hmm. and then i fell backwards when i got up i see my fucking longboard in the middle of the four-way intersection Mm -hmm. i'm like oh fuck i gotta get it before any cars run Like, cars, like, drive over it, you know? So, I sprint into the middle of the intersection to grab the fucking board. (laughs) Dude, this is when, like, lights are green and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So, (laughs) pretty much, a lot of people got the memos. Like, oh, yeah, this guy's trying to get his board, you know? Mm -hmm. But then, one motherfucker just fucking zoomed by. Did not give a shit. Dang. (laughs) So... Yeah, pretty much, like, when I grabbed my board, a car, like, drove, like, right in front of me. And then I was like, oh, shit. I could have just fucking died right there. And, like, all this happened really fast, because, like, my first instinct was, like, oh, shit, I have to get the board. So I pretty much sprinted right when I fell. This all happened, like, Mm -hmm. in, like, 10 seconds, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, no, that is my near-death experience. (laughs) So that's why I'm, like, maybe, maybe I don't logboard near, uh, intersections anymore yeah no like drivers on the road it's like something i've learned just by like walking by the road so much like crossing the street so much and like taking the bus and stuff like that but so many of them don't pay attention dude it's like actually dangerous like you kind of have to you're forced to pay attention more you know yeah because it's kind of your life on the line you know something i learned from a friend a while back that stuck with me forever mm-hmm. is that there's no point in being an aggressive driver. Yeah. You know? No, like, it's true. Like, it's like uh, a lot of people like can piss you off on the road, you know, cut you off, do all this shit. But like, if you just chill out, you'll be good. Yeah. You know? You're all going to the same place, you know? Like, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I feel like it depends on where you live. Because yeah. people, I, I remember that was crazy to me when we went to LA that one time. Mm-hmm. The way people drive down there. It was like, why would it, like, have the fact that I, I remember there was, like, this this gap between these two cars that was literally just barely wide enough for a car to get through, and some guy just, like, casually just went for it, went right through there. That was something yeah. shit like that would never happen in Washington, but, like, you just have to be like that there, or else you're not going to fucking mm-hmm. get anywhere. You're not going to get where you want to go. I know, I know in big city driving, you really have to, or, like, just, like, the interactions and stuff in the city, you have to be really aggressive, like uh over by nathan and david's place there's like this one crosswalk on a really busy street and you don't like press any buttons or anything to cross it you just kind of have to like walk on the road you know and like establish your dominance and like most cars there get it but it's still kind of scary like you're just you're just like like david's done it like in front of a car that was like maybe 15 meters away and he had to like stop from like I don't know, like 30, 40 miles an hour. It's 15 meters away. Like, yeah, that, that shit. That fucking place in general sucks. Yeah. For both I pedestrians mean, and drivers, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. God. It's, so many yeah. like one way streets and shit, too. It's so yeah, damn sure. confusing. Let's ask the question What do you guys think about Seattle? I actually don't like it too much. <laughs> that was just two different answers. <laughs> I feel like most big cities are like inevitably gonna get like shitholy, you know. And in terms of like 
cities. I feel like Seattle is pretty good, you know, compared well, to like others at its level. Like, I, Portland is I way is worse. It's not Portland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Portland. Yeah, it's not fucking Portland. <laughs> no, but that's that, that, going for it. Basically, that, that's the reason I say it's not that bad. It's because it could be Portland. <laughs> Respectfully, it could be, it could if you like New York too. That place fucking blows Dude, too. I yeah. remember, like the first time we ever went to Portland. I remember just we had to try to find parking one time. Yeah. We parked in this random like parking garage, and we wanted to find the elevator to get back up, you know, to like where the crosswalks were. Yeah. <laughs> We took the elevator. We're just in a fucking being renovated fucking Target. That was so <laughs> random, dude. Like, it was like being been... <laughs> it was like we were in the construction zone, basically. Like there was like plastic tarps around us and everything, and we're just like, uh, should we be here? Like, did we take the right floor? And we did. We just left the building, but it was, was like, so no jarring. No signs either. Yeah, There's no signs to tell us like, oh, under construction. No, they don't need that shit in Portland. It's yeah, there was no indication we'd be in a inside a Target that was under construction <laughs> in that elevator. We just thought we'd be like, you know, like right next to a door. It was yeah. So weird. Yeah, that place, so. dude. That place straight up, like some of the streets there. It looks like a. It looks like it's from a goddamn Battlefield game. Like <laughs> abandoned buildings, broken fucking windows, graffiti yeah. everywhere. There's like legit blocks worth of just fucking tents on the side of the road ever like oh my god why would you ever want to live i remember my dad was saying that he has this uh friend who who um did like construction down there and whenever mm -hmm. he had to take clients down through like um portland he would mm -hmm. just take the long way around so that he, they didn't <laughs> see like the actual city <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man god that place was fucking trash man look at all the portland haters on this podcast i don't I mean, care <laughs> ratio <laughs> ratio motherfucker i'm i'm sure there are nice areas in portland like there are in seattle but just like the the bad areas are pretty bad <laughs> like i just really remember fucking bad Jesus. like like in seattle just entering the city there's like obviously like like homeless camps and stuff you know but the ones in portland they're like homeless towns like they are they are bad they are established and they have yeah. like like pallets and like like pallet homes and stuff in seattle it's just like tarps it's they probably so have like their own government and you know yeah pretty much <laughs> oh man their own like, democracy do you, guys, do you guys remember like when we drove into portland there was just fucking trash everywhere <laughs> Yeah. Yep. There was trash everywhere, and then the fucking like camps that looked like there was a festival going on because there was so many like big tents. These like, guys straight up played like oh, fucking man. Fortnite. They had like pallets and shit. Yeah, they're gonna build up walls. I bet you they would have like wooden chairs built out of like built out of crates and like a makeshift TV in there with power, running water, like, yeah. a homeless yeah. palace. I swear to God. Uh, it's like life on hard mode. It's like growing up in Portland. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, fucking hell. But yeah. Was, yeah. I mean, so many cities are like, like even LA to an extent is, it's pretty bad in LA. Oh, too. Yeah. In, oh LA. LA uh... <laughs> and the pollution, it's just like, like, like living in a suburb in LA is like, that's fine, but it's pretty, it's pretty. Yeah. I remember when we went up to I don't know what it was what it's actually called that like art museum thing we went to. Yeah. The, but um, what was it? Uh, yeah, I have, no, it I have no Getty? idea what it's actually called. Something like that. But yeah. you get like a view of like the city. Yeah. And <laughs> straight up, like you can't. You should be able to see so much farther than you actually can. But the smog <laughs> no. is actually so bad. I actually <laughs> you can't see. I, I distinctly remember this. We were like at that observation point, you know, and then they had like a picture of what you were supposed to see because you actually couldn't see it, like, <laughs> like, like from the view. And it was like a bright sunny day; like you could totally yeah. see it. But there's like no clouds the, in the sky. The smog, like you could barely see, like Santa Monica area. It was so bad. Yeah, I didn't even. I don't even think I saw that. Yeah. And like the downtown, you could like the buildings were like 
they were in the fog of war. Yeah, you can they were... barely see, like, you can maybe see, like, what is it, the Key Bank Tower or something like that? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what it's actually called. Yeah, I don't know, but it was, it's bad down in LA. Yeah, <laughs> that place was <would> fucked, <laughs> believe me. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess we could just end off the episode there. Everybody, thanks for watching this episode of the podcast. This is our point five in our anniversary month. So next episode, hopefully we get enough people to do an anniversary episode. Yeah, we'll go back yes. and look back on our achievements. Yes. Yes. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the shit. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.